Here's a quick tip on microphones. Microphones are one of the most important components of the recording studio. There are two main types of microphones. The one of the type is dynamic microphone and the other is condenser microphone. Each type of microphone is used for a different application depending on what instruments you're planning to record. Recording engineers will always have their own choices. Different mics handle different levels of volume or sound or audio, you may call it. These levels are called SPLs or sound pressure levels. The dynamic microphones and condensers differ greatly in this area as dynamic microphones can handle higher SPL levels than condensers. In fact, dynamic mics are specifically reactive to high SPLs, even if there is a background noise, whereas condensers can usually differentiate between background and foreground noises. This is one of the many reasons that makes a condenser microphone a studio engineer's favorite microphone. Dynamic microphones are a popular choice for live stage concerts, but are also used in the studio for those instruments having high attack volumes such as snare drums. We'll discuss later in detail what we mean by high attack volumes. As of now, you can just try to understand that dynamic microphones are good to handle loud sounds if you want, you know, just saying it in simple terms. Now condenser microphones are the main type used within recording studios. This is because they usually have better frequency responses. They are highly sensitive and are generally of higher quality. The frequency response of a microphone is the range of frequencies that it can pick up. Therefore, then deciding on which mic to use, it is important to look at the frequency response of the mic and compare it to the frequencies put out by the instruments you want to use it on. For example, if some instrument needs a higher frequency response, we will go for a microphone that gives you that kind of frequency response. Unlike dynamics, condenser microphones more often come with extra options to control the sound such as variable polar patterns, replaceable capsules, pads, high pass filters and shock mounts. Due to greater sensitivity, the condenser mics are more fragile compared to a rugged dynamic mic and they need to be handled at most care. And of course, there is one more type of microphones known as ribbon microphones. They are actually a kind of dynamic microphones. We will not discuss much in detail as they are almost out of production now. Very few ribbon microphones are ever been made now, if ever. So the summary of what we discussed today is that mainly there are two types of microphones that are used in the recording studios widely. One is the dynamic microphone and the other is the condenser microphone. The dynamic microphone is used for higher sounds, higher SPLs, the sound pressure levels to handle. That's why you will find a lot of dynamic microphones used in live concerts, stage shows. Whereas condenser microphones handle a bit of lower frequency level, they are more sensitive. They only capture, depending on what kind of pattern they are, so the condenser microphones are more popular in the recording studio because in recording studio you need to capture a very uh, very like each and every minute detail of the audio so this is a very quick uh, video on microphones and this is something that a beginner sound engineer or an audio engineer should know about a microphone of course we can learn in detail about the different patterns of the microphone like there is the the bipolar or the bidirectional microphones then there's the omnidirectional and when you combine them both we go we get the cardioid pattern which are more kind of useful and more popular so we will discuss that in the later videos thank you